We have some archi archival items to to share. Uh, the book, which you cannot take with you, is of Roland Hayes's uh, songs, and it does feature some of his arrangements. I'll just show you the title page there. And if I can manage, I probably should have marked off one of the pieces. But anyway, you can see that it's got um, some explanatory text and, and uh, contextual information there, but also, you know, his arrangements of the spiritual. So, deep river. So that's one of our gems. Um, another African-American composer that participated in that concert was Florence Price. And Chicago, of course, claims Florence Price as, as one of our own. She was born in Arkansas, but moved to Chicago in 1927. Um, so she really uh, was here for the, the bulk of her uh, uh, you know, composing career. Um, she is important because she was the first African-American female composer to have a piece performed by a major American symphony orchestra. That symphony orchestra was the Chicago Symphony Orchestra in this 1933 concert. So again, there's real historic importance um, in, in this World Fair concert. Uh, her uh, piano concerto in E minor was performed. And um, now I get to do a shameless plug for... <laughs> There's Price, <laughs> this is a brochure for uh, the CBMR's recording of, uh, of the, the, the symphony in E minor and, um, and her piano concerto. Try to hold it still. So you can see. Anyway, we wanted to make sure that we included that 1933 World's Fair concert by the Chicago Symphony Orchestra because it really was about um, not just the city's progress, but the progress of, of black composers and artists. 